What's up everyone? In this video, we have more expressions to evaluate containing rational exponents. So we have three expressions. So starting with number one, we've got 27 to the power of negative two over three plus 16 to the power of three over four minus 81 to the power of negative a half. So let's just evaluate each of these separately. So this here, we would change to one over 27 to the power of two over three, right? Negative exponent, bring it down. This here, this 16 to the power of 3 over 4, I'm going to split that up into 16 to the power of 1 over 4 to the power of 3, like we did in the previous videos. And then this here, 81 to the power of negative a half, bring that down to the denominator and change the exponent to a positive. So from here, um, 1 over 27 to the power of 2 over 3, I'm going to split that up to 27 to the power of 1 over 3 to the power of 2, plus 16 to the power of 1 over 4, that's the fourth root of 16, it's 2, and then 2 to the power of 3 is just 8. And then this here would be 1 over 81 to the power of a half, that's like the square root of 81, which is just 9. Right, and then here, 27 to the power of 1 over 3, that ends up being th uh, 3, and then 3 squared is 9. So this would end up being 1 over 9, plus 8, minus 1 over 9. And then notice the 1 over 9s will just cancel out, and you end up getting 8 here as the final answer. Now, if these didn't cancel out, then these would be fractions you're adding. This 8 would be over 1. You'd have to get a common denominator, and then add, subtract the fractions, and then your final answer would most likely be a fraction. But this example is nice because the 1 over 9s netted out to 0. We're just left with Moving on to number two, we got 128 to the power of negative 2 over 7 divided by 128 to the power of negative 5 over 7. Now, we have this big fraction here, and the numerator has expressions with negative exponents. Denominator has expressions with negative exponents. And whenever I see negative exponents in a fraction, I always like to bring them over. So any negative exponents in the denominator, bring it to the numerator, make them positive. Any negative exponents in the numerator, bring them to the denominator. So that's what we're going to do here. So this we're going to bring down, and then this we're going to bring up. So we'll have 128 to the power of positive 5 over 7 over 128 to the power of positive 2 over 7, like that. Right Now, what if this was positive 2 over 7? Then we would just bring this up, and it'd be 128 to the power of 2 over 7 times 128 to the power of 5 over 7. But because that was negative as well, we have to bring it down. And then from here, notice these have a common base. So we could subtract the exponents. We're dividing exponents here. So um, we'll have 128. And then 5 over 7 minus 2 over 7 gives us what? Those are already common denominators. That gives us 3 over 7. And then here, you just have to evaluate this rational exponent. So this would be 128 to the power of 1 over 7 to the power of 3. 128 to the power of 1 over 7 is 2. 2 to the power of 3 is 8. So answer to number 2 is 8 as well. And again, you could check all of these, plug them in your calculator, make sure you are getting these final answers. And then finally, number 3, we got 81 to the power of negative 2 to the power of negative 0.25. Then we have 81 times 81 to the power of negative 7 over 4. So this one's a little bit more complex, but still not bad. So here we can multiply these exponents. So negative 2 times negative 0.25, that gives us 81 to the power of positive 0 0.5, or let's just put a half here as a fraction, all over. Now notice here we are multiplying um, exponents with the same base. And this 81 by itself, it has an exponent 1. So we can add these exponents. So 1 plus negative 7 over 4, that's like um, that 1 we could change to 4 over 4, right? So we can uh, add those exponents. So 4 over 4 minus 7 over 4, that gives us 81 to the power of negative 3 over 4. Right? Just added these. 1 plus negative 7 over 4 gives us negative 3 over 4. Then from here, notice we have a negative exponent. So I'm going to bring that up. So I'll have 81 to the power of a half 
and then 81 to the power of positive 3 over 4. And now we're multiplying exponents with the same base, so we could add the exponents. So we have 1 over 2 plus 3 over 4, common denominator, so we could change this to a 4, change this to a 2, so that would be 5 over 4 when we add those two fractions. So um, this would end up being 81 to the power of uh, 5 over 4. Then this is just a rational exponent to evaluate. So split this up, 81 to the power of uh, 1 over 4 to the power of 5. Now 81 to the power of 1 over 4, or the fourth root of 81, is um, 3. And then 3 to the power of 5, that would give us uh, what? 243? So 243 is the final answer for number three.